Well, like it or hate it, face coverings are now required in public in all of Idaho's five northern counties. There are some exceptions, of course, but that's led to calls to pull funding from the Panhandle Health District. Now, it's not clear at this point what that would look like if that were to happen, but we do know that county funds only account for a portion of the health district's budget. You go to the store and you don't wear a mask. This far into COVID-19, it's no surprise that public support for face masks in North Idaho stands at less than 100%. But now, at least one county official plans to take action. Bonner County Commissioner Stephen Bradshaw has proposed pulling his county's funding that's allotted to the Panhandle Health District. That amounts to about a quarter of a million bucks. So how would Panhandle Health be impacted if they were partially defunded? Well, at this point, the district isn't commenting on the potential scenario. But here's what we do know. The Panhandle Health District is comprised of Idaho's five northern counties. Each county provides funds to the district based on that county's population and valuation. For Bonner County, that's over $256,000. But altogether, funds from the five counties make up about 10% of Panhandle Health's budget, according to the district. Panhandle Health says they also get money from the state of Idaho, fees, grants, and contracts with state and federal agencies. So even if all of North Idaho's counties were to pull the plug on their financial support, Panhandle Health would still have about 90% of its budget. Taylor Vido, Crim 2 News.